Usually we have worked with standalone queries. I would create some list or cross tab here and Cognos would create an associate query in the background. If we jump here to queries, we can see one such standalone query. But if we were to have several queries, in that case, uh, we would be able to combine those queries by using these commands. So now I will create one more query. I will drag this icon here. I will release it and I will rename this query as 2070. Then I will double click on this query and I will add some columns. I will add column year and I will add column monkey. And I will also place a filter on year. So I will say that year is equal to 2007. Okay. And now we can see that we have two queries. If we jump here to Excel, uh, we can see how those queries uh, looks like. Now, because this column here is the same as this column here, I gave them different names. So this is month key 2016 and this is month key 2017. But if we go back to Cognos, uh, we can select some query and then we can click on this button here. In that case, we will see the result of this query and we can see that my uh, name of column is just one key. So I want to change that first. I will go back. I will enter this query. I will select this column and here I can change name properties. I will change this to 2070. Then I will go back to queries. I will select 2016. I will again select this column and I will rename uh, this uh, column as 2060. And now we will try to join these two queries. First, I will drag this icon join to working area. I will release it here. And now we have two empty places. I will place my query 2016 here and 2017 here. So join is just a combination of two queries. What is exactly join? We will see here in Excel. I will jump to this other sheet. And here we have our two queries. This is the first one, the second one, and I want to connect them horizontally. So I want to create one wide big table and I want to follow this rule. If month from this first table is matched with the month from this other table, I want to connect those two rows. So I will connect this row with this row. This row here will be connected with this row and so on. Uh, we can see that better if you look at this example here. So here is obvious that this is relation one to one because in this first table we have a person's names and in this other table we have their personal numbers. So for each name we have one personal number and for one personal number we have one name. So this is relation one to one and we will have such relation between our uh, two queries in the, this main example. Beside that it is also possible to have uh, relation one to n. For example, here we have persons, but here we have their pets. And this person here has three pets. So this is relation one to three and universal name for such relations is one to n. I will now go back to Cognos. And first I will specify this relation. I will double click here. And I want to create a new relation between this column and this column. And for that, I will click here on new link. So we have a new relation and then, then I will select columns. I will select this column and this column. It's also possible to create several relations. For example, if I click here again, now we have two pairs of columns connected. And this is useful if, for example, in this first table, we have first name and last name. In second table, we have first name and last name. In that case, we would need two relations. But we can select any of these relations and we can delete it. I will select this relation here and I will click on delete on my keyboard to delete it. I will also specify that this is relation one to one. So I will select one one here and one one here and here below uh, we can see that uh, this is a relation that will connect one row from one table with only one row from the other table. I will then click on OK and this is our result. I will change the name of this result query to join. And then I will double click on this query and we will see that we don't have any columns here. 
So I will go here to take some columns. We can take only a few columns. For example, I can take uh, this column and this column, or I can take them all. I will take them all this time. So I will place this column here and this column here. Now these two columns have the same name, so Cognos will append number one to make a distinction uh, between them. And now we can click on this button to see the final result, and this is how our join will look like. This is the result of our join. I will now go back, I will go back to queries, and now we will create a union. I will drag this icon union here, and again we have two empty places. I will place above this query 2016 and 2017 in here. So what is a union? I will jump again here to Excel to this other sheet. And if we have two queries, we can join them like this to create one big tall table. So that is a union. I will now go back and this will be our result. I will rename this final query as union. And then I will double click on it. And inside of it, we don't have any columns. So I will go here. I can now add some columns, but we only have two columns. So why is that? Well, I will jump again here to Excel. Well, the names of columns could be like this or like this. We only have two options. And the rule is that the names of the final table will be from the upper uh, query. So this is upper query in our case. I will now go back. I will go to queries and we can see that 2016 is at the top. So when we enter this final query, we will have here the columns with the name from that query 2016. And I will use them. We can add only one column or we can add both columns. I will now run this and we will have our big tall table. I will now go back and this time I will create one change. I will uh, change here in queries, filter for this 2017 query. I will enter it and I will make this filter the same as for other table. So I will change this to 2016 and now we have two queries with the same result. They will have the same rows and again here in queries I will select a union and I will run it to see what will happen now. So instead of the, that big tall table, we will only have 12 rows. So why is this? Because we have duplicates. All of the duplicates will be automatically removed. I will now go back and I will select this icon here. And here we have one setting for duplicates. So instead of remove, I will select preserve. I will again select this query and I will again run it. And now we will expect to see 24 rows, but we still have only 12 rows. So why is this? I will again go back. And for this query here, we can see that auto group and summarize property is turned on. We have to turn this off. So we don't want our rows to be uh, grouped. So I will turn this off. And only now, if we run this query, we will see all of the rows and we will see all of the duplicates. For example, uh, this row here is the same as this row here. So all our duplicates are here. 